Good morning. Today is Monday, February 13th. It's a Monday, so that means we're going to be doing our regular Monday chores. Me and Dad always start out in the morning, pretty much wait till it gets light, head out to the corrals, and we take our close-up cows, the dry cows, as well as the close-up heifers out of the corrals, and we bring them into our close-up pack barn. That's the first thing we're going to be doing this morning. This is our close-up pack, so we're going to move the groups down, kind of shuffle them down. There's the boss man. Out in the corrals now. The way we pick our animals for close-up, we have that herd management computer and it's running a software called Delpro. It's from De Laval. It's our herd management computer and it spits out a report and it shows you which cows are gonna calve and how many days they're gonna calve in. So we know this because we preg check all the cows after they've been bred in the cow barn. Two months before they're due to calving, they come out in the dry cow pen and then that computer alerts us when they're about to calve. So 21 to 28 days, those are the cows we're looking for in the report and we'll bring those in once a week, every Monday. Occasionally we will preg check our heifers, but it's not something we regularly do. So we always just go off of visually inspecting the heifers udders and that's how we pull them into the close up barn. Yesterday, me and dad took the manure away from the back of the bunks again, just staying on top of it since it's been so nice out lately. Today's supposed to get above zero again, which is crazy February temps. We should pretty much be able to get to spring now. Uh, if the manure does build up, if we have a month of minus 30, I really hope not, but if it does happen, the manure is not going to build up to the point where the cows can't eat anymore anyway. And I'll just be scooping everything out in a couple months with the budding manure spreader. So that young lady is starting to bag up a bit. Pull her out. This is a tough part for this time of year. Freezes overnight, melts during the day, and then you get a bit of a skating rink here. Cows are not made for walking on ice, that's for sure. Just wanna really slowly walk them up. Me and dad just finished up with the close-up cows, put them inside, treated them, and they're in their pen now. Next thing we're doing this morning, me and Miriam are gonna be changing the airlines for our crowd gate. They're leaking, they're worn out, and we got three brand new lines that gotta be replaced, so. Should be, should be another fun job. So those three lines connect to the crowd gate right there. We're first gonna start out by marking which line goes into which part there, which coupling. Can't take all three off and then expect to line them up good. So these are the three airlines that come from the air compressor and go to the crowd gates. They go all the way down to the back so it can move up and down and still get access to the air pressure. But we don't know if this coupling on the back here is the same on the back there. So I'm gonna make sure we're gonna follow all these lines all the way back to the crowd gate. Tape this one red, yellow, black. Do the same for the crowd gate. And hopefully we don't mess it up like that. There we go. And now I'm just gonna follow this line all the way to the back. Got the first line marked, and that's what I expected. The back there is the same as in the front, so. The De Laval dealer that installed this, they're usually pretty intuitive with stuff like that, so. We just have to line one more up and then we'll know for sure. So Marion's marking this side, what'd you figure out? I already marked. <laughs> F-R-W. Darn, man. See, I figured the guys that put this thing in already would have marked it, but I just didn't see it. I guess I'll have to look a little better next time. That's those three loose. So now we've got two options. We can either take this wire loose and put all three new ones on at once, or we can coil them around. What do you think is going to be better? Coil them around? I think it's going to suck in this wire tight again. Yeah. Uh, let's just coil them around. Taking the old ones off. I just uploaded the Yundas Holland video and the guy that's always watching my videos, Ken, he says, you look a little camera shy still. 
me. Yeah, you. Yeah. I think he's right. <laughs> okay, well, those are the three new lines. Miriam's just marking them up right away so we don't forget. I guess we're gonna tie the three together. We think it's gonna be the easiest if we zip tie them all together and then put them up there after. Because I don't think winding three on is gonna be as much fun as doing it all at once. Does it matter which way they go? I don't think so. Yes, I did it! <laughs> we got it on there. Nice. Complicated, eh? More than I thought it was gonna be, yeah. Yeah. Funny. Well, we just gotta hook it up, put some Taflon tape on the threads, get her tightened down, should be good to go. Yeah. Ready for this afternoon's milking. Should have fixed the crowd gate today. Should should move faster. It should. Yeah, it's gonna. Did you watch a YouTube video to fix it? No, I just we just replaced <laughs> the the hoses, the airlines. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I walked up here. This gate's just open from when we changed those lines. It's no good. Right on. Time to grab some cows. Just splashing the holding area, making it clean. Kind of helps with the grip, soaking it before we put the cows in there. Monday's definitely one of my favorite days of the week. I don't know if I'd say the favorite, but it's up there because you just at the beginning of the week, you go the rest of the week to get everything that you want done and uh, I enjoy my job, so that helps a lot too. First cow there, second cow should be right there. She's cranked sideways, it's a big cow. She has enough room to fit straight forward, but you always have some of these ladies, they, they just wanna hang sideways, give themselves a little bit more room. That takes it away from the next cows. What do you do? Breed, breed 
smaller cows. No, she just still thinks she's in a herring boat. Yeah. <laughs> we literally will hang the milkers under from the front sometimes if it's really bad. We're gonna fresh heifer here. She's kind of psycho. The odd heifer that comes in, I'd say one out of 10 is pretty difficult in the beginning. So uh, I'll be sure you guys how difficult it is to hang her under. And then Elaine's gonna go up there and pet her face a little bit. So that's gonna distract her and allow me to hang it under. I'm so pro that I don't need anybody to help me out. Try the next one then. I bet I can do this one with my eyes closed. I wouldn't try that. Hey sister, can you go in front of her and distract her? So this is with Naleen up top, kind of petting her face, just distracting her a little bit. It's definitely a question I get quite a bit. How do you guys train fresh heifers? That's something we do quite a bit. If the cow's kicking a little bit too much, someone up there, pet her face. And they're never easy to pet, but they're distracted at least, and that allows you to get the milker under. And most of the time, when the milker is hung under the cow, those are really two tough ladies. They just stand there and get milked. So. And it's usually only a couple milkins of that rank. You know, the other really good strategy for dealing with crazy heifers that you don't want to hang under is just leave the parlor. So I, I need to go to the washroom, Elaine. I'm sorry. No! No! Yeah, I, I got, I've been no. holding this in all milking, man. No, you know what else you do? Tell us. You tell them you're going to bring them to McDonald's. <laughs> All done milking. Nalene's gonna be cleaning the parlor and doing the filters. That means I got the back chores to do, and that is making a foot bath with acidified copper sulfate, and I just treated that sick cow. First thing we're gonna do, clean the foot bath out, put half of this bag in there, mix it in with some hot water. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. Check out the Instagram, at SaskDutchKid, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> and also, watch my YouTube channel.